Hey girlies, it's me, I'm back, and I just got back from Hawaii yesterday, and do I have a lot of purchases to share with you today? Not only am I gonna share all the purchases that I made and prices, because Hawaii does have some special pricing for certain brands, I'm also going to talk about my general experience and also some tips and tricks specifically regarding Hermes in Hawaii. So stay tuned if you want to know all the information, but before we do, hi, I'm Simi G Shop. I make videos once or twice a week on luxury and fashion. I have a couple more Hawaii videos coming out, so I would love it if you subscribe so you do not miss out. Okay, let's go straight into the unboxing. I guess I'll just move from the bottom up and go from there. So the first thing I guess I will show is this little something from Louis Vuitton. And isn't this adorable? They have this cute little Hawaii special bag. I got this one in the Ala Moana store and then I got this one in the Waikiki strip. So I think maybe that's why they're a little different, but it comes beautifully wrapped in the iconic Louis Vuitton packaging. And it's just something small, but it is the Rosalie coin purse in this beautiful cream emprunt leather. Isn't it so gorgeous? So I actually got something like this because I don't actually have like a flat card holder. I did do a card holder review that I'll link up here, but most of my card holders are pretty flat or they're a zip. So I thought that would be really nice to have something that kind of flapped and folded upwards. So it's a little bit more easily accessible because you just have one little button that holds everything together. But let me just go through the details of it. It has a front zip pocket. It has two kind of card pockets here a large interior pocket as well as one back pocket but the main reason that i got this one in specifically was that i felt like it was a really good price point for a pretty large card holder i would say and additionally i wanted to get something that could fit my car fob and house keys inside and so the interior of the pocket and the flexibility of the on-prop leather does allow for me to comfortably fit everything that I need to in here. So this was kind of mainly actually bought as a key holder, but at the same time, I can fit my ID and my credit cards in here as well. So this is a 100% grab and go item that I think I will love using. And the price of this also makes me a little less nervous about tossing it around and you know, having my keys scratch the inside of it. So I would highly recommend this for someone who's also looking for something to hold their key fobs or car keys or anything like that. So the price of the Rosaline coin purse in Hawaii was $445 pre-tax. In the mainland United States, it is priced at $490. So you do save a quite a bit of money. And then as a reminder, the sales tax in Hawaii is closer to 4.7%. And in where I live, San Francisco, it's a little closer to 9%. So it was a good amount of savings buying this in Hawaii. So this one actually I bought for all of my subscribers and I'm actually, I think maybe I'll unbox this at the very end, but I'm actually planning to do the subscriber giveaway in a future video, but I had to buy this when I was in Hawaii because when I'm in Hawaii, I love buying gifts for all my family and friends and all of my subscribers are my friends as well. So I actually hit a really big milestone while I was in Hawaii. I actually reached a thousand subscribers. So, oh my gosh, thank you so much to everybody who's watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. It means the world to me that you are actually enjoying my content and having fun like I am filming these videos. The so next up is something that I actually don't know will resonate with a lot of you guys. It's actually something from Chrome Hearts. So Chrome Hearts is definitely more of an edgy streetwear brand and my boyfriend is actually very into streetwear brands. So we did check out Chrome Hearts and we did check out Stussy mainly for him, but I did find something that I really enjoy from both of those places. So Chrome Hearts is a type of store that you do have to go in person to buy and Chrome Hearts specifically in Hawaii and also other places, for example, LA or even Miami, you do have to make a appointment to go into the store. So if you are interested in visiting the Chrome Hearts store in Hawaii, I do recommend just calling ahead of time to set up an appointment. It's not difficult to get an appointment. I think it was just like a COVID thing and they never got rid of it, but just to be safe, definitely want to call a store to set up your appointment. Chrome Hearts is an American based brand and it is really popular all across the world. So it is really nice to be able to go to the store in Hawaii because the prices are actually quite affordable in Hawaii, I would say. I did visit a Chrome Hearts store in Seoul, Korea last time I went and the prices for their products were kind of astronomical for some reason. I think it's something to do with the import fees and other things like that, but all these items were definitely reasonably priced and they're quite high quality and my boyfriend is really in love with these pieces. So let me just unbox them to and show you them. These are for my edgy girlies out there. The first two things I'll show I got for my boyfriend. So the first one is just a super, super classic Chrome Hearts t-shirt. So it is a very large relaxed fit t-shirt. It does have the Chrome Hearts logo on this little pocket right here in the front. 
And on the back, it does just show the same Chrome Hearts logo right there with a little bit of trim writing on the bottom. And Chrome Hearts is still definitely an expensive brand. It is a very trendy kind of hype beast brand. And I think that's why they are charging so much for their products. But I think that the quality is quite nice and we did have a lovely time in the store. So he really, really loved this. If you have a boyfriend or any, or yourself or any men in your life who do enjoy that kind of streetwear brand, Chrome Hearts is a wonderful place to check out. So the price on the shirt was $275. Not really a cheap shirt, but not a crazy expensive shirt either, right? It's not on par with designer brands or anything. It's just a very nice t-shirt that you can wear for a long time. So this is the first item. The second item is a really nice, comfy zip-up hoodie. So my boyfriend has been looking for this zip-up hoodie for quite some time now. I don't really understand the zip-up hoodie hype. I'm not personally a zip-up hoodie kind of girl, but I think he really enjoys the comfort and the functionality of it where you can just throw it on and off really easily. But this one is a zip-up hoodie. It does have the very iconic kind of sore detailing here for the zipper it does have chrome hearts on the left side as well and then on the back it's quite simple as well it just says chrome hearts usa i did buy my boyfriend an acne studio zip up hoodie that's quite similar to this in my opinion it's a little bit more of a relaxed fit but it doesn't have any kind of branding or anything like that so i think he did want something that did have a little bit of kind of streetwear branding so this was perfect for him and both of these he did get in the extra large size because he's quite tall the hoodie came out to be $630, which I think is totally reasonable for a nice quality hoodie. And then the last piece is actually something for myself. I actually walked into the store saying I'm not going to get anything because I'm not really a streetwear girly, but my boyfriend and also a couple friends that I was going with really liked the brand and they kept trying everything on and they were like, oh my God, I love this. And so I kind of caught on to the hype, I would say, but I did find something that was kind of a mix of streetwear and still kind of kept in tune to my more feminine nature, I would say. And it is this beautiful white hoodie from Chrome Hearts. This is a limited edition hoodie, so it does feature this beautiful kind of embossed cross detailing all across the sweater. So you can see that it has like this white patterning of cross all throughout. It does have the chrome hearts lettering on the left side, as well as chrome hearts all along the sleeves. And then the back is simply the circular kind of horseshoe chrome hearts logo as well. And this one, I do believe I got it in the small and it's still quite large. It is a very relaxed fit here. I think the white on white patterning actually makes it pop and like shine almost. And it almost looks like flowers almost if you kind of look at it from far away. So I did really like the sweater and I don't have any white hoodies. So I thought this was a perfect addition to my collection. I thought it would be really good for just a really casual night out with friends or going on a walk with Bori. It was just really cute and it definitely caught my eye. So this hoodie was priced a little bit more expensively because it is a limited edition one. So this one came out to be $715. The prices in Hawaii are probably the cheapest that you will get for Chrome Hearts because it is a US-based brand and the tax is the cheapest in Hawaii. There's no pricing to compare it to online because they don't sell their products online. So this is kind of what you see is what you get. But the Hawaii Chrome Hearts store was quite large and they had a lot of items, including a lot of jewelry pieces. My boyfriend did get two rings as well from Chrome Hearts. And my other girlfriend did get some earrings that are quite popular from Chrome Hearts. So they did have pretty good stock, I would say. Some of the sizings were out of stock because they are obviously a popular brand, but it was really cool because they did also have Hawaii exclusive things. So it would kind of say Chrome Hearts and like Honolulu or Hawaii. So that was really cute if you are into like those cute souvenirs where they do specifically say the city that you got your clothing pieces in. I do like those as well, but we'll get a little bit more into that later. But yes, all these Chrome Hearts pieces, I do believe they are quite high quality and my boyfriend is absolutely in love with them. So I do think that they work really well as gifts or just anything comfortable for yourself. So next up, I will share a small Celine purchase. So just like Louis Vuitton, Celine is also one of the brands that do participate in Hawaii pricing. So that means that Certain items will be about five to 10% cheaper base price than they are compared to the US mainland price. So it's even better to shop in Hawaii at those stores because you do get the 4.7% tax as well as the discounted Hawaii pricing. So Celine is one of those brands. And the thing that I got is in this box here with the beautiful black ribbon. And it is just a very simple pair of sunglasses. 
So I'm not like a huge sunglass girl, I would say. I don't have like tons and tons of pairs of sunglasses. I actually just have one pair of sunglasses going into Hawaii and I actually forgot to bring those. So I did have to buy a new pair in Hawaii. But I do think that buying a couple more sunglasses will actually encourage me to wear sunglasses more because it is really important to protect your eyes from UV no matter where you are. My mom is a huge proponent of wearing sunglasses like at all times of the day. So I did get these and I think they're a little bit more unique and something that I wouldn't typically go for. And it is just this beautiful pair of white Triumph sunglasses and the cute point detail is just that gold logo on the side with the Triumph logo. And just putting them on, I think that they're just really really classy and feminine. I don't have any frames that do have like a lighter frame color, like this kind of cream color that they have going on, but I think it's so cute and when you pop them up on the top of your head and turn to the side, you can just see the Triumph logo just catching the eye and catching the sun and I think these are so summery and beautiful and lovely. So unfortunately these sunglasses at Celine do not have Hawaii pricing so I believe these were $510 and that is the exact same price that you would get online or any Celine store on the US mainland. So the sunglasses don't have any special Hawaii pricing but other things do. So I did look at a lot of bags and other items as well and those do have about like $100 to $300 off of the US mainland price if you are buying a leather good it seems like. So if you are considering buying a sleeve bag, definitely consider doing it in Hawaii because they do offer that special Hawaii pricing. If you haven't checked out my Hawaii shopping vlog, I'll actually link it up here, but I highly recommend checking it out because I do show every store that I go to and I try to take as many pictures as possible. It was a little difficult because a lot of the stores actually don't allow you to film or ask you not to take pictures. So I did try to take as many as possible, but it is a little limited, but specifically inside the Celine store, I was really on the fence of buying certain bags and so I would love it if you checked out that video to give me any opinions or advice on what you think my next purchase should be but regardless I do absolutely love these sunglasses they come in this very adorable box and they also come with a little lens cleaner wipe as well so these are going on every vacation for me for the time being. So next up, I'm going to be talking about my Hermes experience in Hawaii. This is a little bit of a trick because I actually did not buy anything from Hermes in Hawaii, but I will just show some products that I bought right before coming to Hawaii. And then I'll talk about the experience of going to store because my friend actually did do a lot of purchasing in Hawaii and I was with her at the time and we got a lot of useful information that I do wanna pass on to you guys. So first, let's just start with the unboxing of two things slash three things that I did end up getting right before I got to Hawaii. So the first thing is in this small little box. I think you might be able to guess what it is from the box, but it's in here and it is this beautiful gritty pale Calvi card holder. This color is so absolutely stunning. I had asked my essay to keep an eye out for anything white, light, pastel colored, and he sent me a picture of this and I totally fell in love with it. The Calvi card holder is very, very simple. It just holds two pockets here. You can put kind of any kind of cards. You can also probably put other things in here as well, but it does have silver hardware. And the green pail is just this beautiful off-white, really, really light gray color. And as soon as I got this, I was like, oh my God, I want this color for my Kelly bag that I had put on my wish list. So originally my new wish list bag had been a Kelly 25 and I said that I was okay with dark colors like dark navies or dark grays or blacks even. But after getting this, I was like, I want a white or light gray Kelly 25. So after I got this, I told my essay, scratch all those dark colors. I only want a white one. I'm totally fine with waiting a long time for it because I think that it will just be so, so beautiful in this beautiful off-white gray color. So love, love, love this. The Calvi card holder was $365. So definitely one of the more affordable things that are met in terms of leather goods, but it is in Epsom leather and it feels so wonderful. And I would highly recommend if you are looking for a just super casual card holder, even for a special mail in your life because it is so gender neutral, I would highly recommend checking out the Calvi card holder because it is so durable. It comes in beautiful leathers, beautiful colors, and there is definitely one to suit everybody out there. The second thing that I picked up is in this box right here, and it was actually featured in my Pack With Me for Hawaii video. So if you wanna see how I utilized it, definitely feel free to check that video out. I will just link it up above here. But this one is also a very, very popular item to have, and it is the Hermes Mini Change Tray in Clemence leather in the Etube colorway. So this I bought right before. I like texted my essay literally the day before. I was like, do you have this? I need this for travel because it does lie flat when you first buy it. So it's just this super, super thin piece of leather 
beautiful to the touch, but you can just clip these buttons in and it becomes this super adorable little change tray or catch-all tray. And that's kind of what I used it for. I actually got this for my boyfriend because I do personally have a little jewelry box that I use to kind of keep all my jewelry in safe when I am traveling. But my boyfriend usually just like throws his watch and his rings and bracelets just on the bedside table. And it makes me really nervous because I'm afraid he's going to lose it. So I did get him this so you can just throw it all in there. And then when you're done using it and done at the end of vacation, you just unsnap all the buttons and then you pack it in literally anything. It takes up no space. So I would highly recommend this for any kind of travel. It is your catch all. You can put your car keys in it, your jewelry in it. You can put literally anything in it and it is so versatile to use. And I absolutely love it. This change tray is priced at $475. I think it's pretty reasonable. It is like a little bit pricey for the amount of leather that you're getting maybe, but I think it feels absolutely divine. And I, again, highly, highly, highly recommend getting this. If not for yourself, for a gift for somebody else. I did also end up picking up a white shirt for my boyfriend. I'll put a picture of it here. Very, very casual, super lightweight. It was perfect for Hawaii because it was super breezy, let all the air inside the shirt. So again, if you're going on a travel vacation for Hawaii and you're looking for a nice ready to wear piece to just wear on a little bit of more of a special occasion, I would highly recommend the shirt that I got. I'll put the picture and the name of the shirt that I got up here. Now, let me talk about my experience shopping in Hawaii at Hermes. So there are two Hermes stores located in Oahu. The first one is located on the Waikiki Strip. And then the second one is located in a large shopping center called the Alamo shopping center so I do feel like most of the larger youtubers that I see do shop at the Waikiki strip I've specifically heard the name of the sales associate Jojo pop a lot and I did see him in the Waikiki strip boutique so it does seem like that's like the slightly more popular one to go to not really sure if that's true but we did end up shopping at the Waikiki strip one just because we were located closer to that one our hotel was right on the strip so on probably the second day we went into the Waikiki Hermes store and I had heard from a lot of other YouTube videos, it's best to go to Hermes early in your trip, do a little bit of shopping here and there, and then hopefully by the end of the trip, your essay is able to offer you something, regardless of what it is. But we went in, we weren't really greeted in the beginning, we kind of just like wandered around, we went up to the third floor to look at belts, and that's when the first sales associate approached us, he said, how can I help you? My friend was looking for quite a few things, and she asked to look at multiple Kelly belts, and she eventually picked out three. And then we also went over to look at some shoes and she picked out a pair of Oasis sandals. And she doesn't really shop that much at Hermes, neither does her family. So I was trying to kind of finesse my way into possibly getting an offer for her for anything. Even a non quota bag would have been lovely for her. So after we had picked out several items to be purchased, I brought it up. I said, we are going to be here for about a week. We are looking for some non quota bags like a Pikachu or a Lindy. We were wondering if you had anything available in stock. And he said, oh, we're so sorry. We have absolutely no bags in the back. And I think that's a little bit of a lie because I there was a blue croc very mini bag available downstairs on display. And I did also see somebody being offered a beautiful croc mini ruli um, kind of off to the side. I wasn't sure if you meant that there was just no like regular leather bags in stock, but maybe they did receive an exotic shipment or the spend was just not enough to be offered anything in the Waikiki boutique. He said, oh, we're so sorry, we don't have anything. September is actually the month where France workers kind of take an extended holiday. So the factories are shut down at Hermes and bags or leather goods are just not being produced at the moment. So he said September is probably the worst month to shop Hermes because they do go on the extended holiday. Again, I'm not too sure how that directly correlates to inventory at Hermes. I did confirm with my SF essay that indeed in September, the workers go on holiday and the factories are closed down, but he did not say anything regarding if that actually makes it more difficult to buy leather goods in the month of September. So basically he did say no bags. So then I kind of moved on to, okay, well, do you have any SLGs available? You know, any kind of wallets or other small leather goods? He said again, like, no, absolutely nothing's available. But he did say that he does have one Rodeo to offer to us. And he said that each essay at the store in Waikiki gets like one Rodeo allocated to them 
each month so literally every month he can give away run rodeo to a client and he said oh i like you guys i want to offer this rodeo my one rodeo of the month and we're like oh okay so he brought it up to show us and it was actually so funny because the rodeo that he offered to my friend was actually the exact colorway of the rodeo that was offered to me earlier by my sa this month so it was the cray body craft saddle with the vert fizz mane and tail so now we just have matching rodeo so i think that worked out perfectly i think it's so cute that we were able to match but after that he again kind of said the whole spiel about we have no other leather goods available so then we just went downstairs my friend picked out a couple toys to buy and in the end she did spend a little over six thousand dollars so it is a significant amount of money to spend on your first go at Hermes and we were kind of hoping that it would be able to encourage our SA to offer us anything but we might have just been unlucky it is the month of September and perhaps that really is the worst month to shop at Hermes but while we were checking out the SA was extremely nice he said I would love to be your personal SA anytime you come to Hawaii just next time you're coming please let me know maybe like one or two weeks in advance so I can prepare something for you so that's good I think it's really good to at least that we have that connection now so that in the future we don't have to kind of just like wander into the store and find somebody new it does seem like that's the case for both Hermes and Rolex as well so we were trying to get a Rolex this trip as well there are two Rolex boutiques similar to Hermes there's two Hermes stores and both of them function very similarly in the fact that they will offer bags or watches to clients that are physically in Hawaii during this time of their stay but if they leave they can't offer you anything basically and so both my Hermes SA and my Rolex SA was just like so sorry we don't have anything to offer you right now but if you do let us know one or two weeks in advance the next time you come to Hawaii we will or we can prepare something for you to take home so that's nice in itself so maybe this trip you know wasn't so successful the first time this was my first time to Hawaii but I do believe that every next Hawaii trip will hopefully merit some success so Regardless, we had a great time shopping and we did learn a lot about, you know, how this kind of system in Hawaii works. And so if you are planning to go to Hawaii, just keep that in mind. Maybe don't go to Hawaii in September, but any other month, just establish that first connection with an SA. And then from there on, you can just continue to shop with that same SA. You can do phone orders and you can still continue to build your profile with that SA there. It's just in terms of bags and other quota bags, you do have to physically go to the store, but you can be offered something still when you're away and you can just fly in and pick it up. So totally up to you. It's a little bit easier because I live in California. I am closer to Hawaii, but I think it is nice to have that connection just in case when you go on vacation. In the end, we weren't offered any bags. Um, the SA did continue to text my friend, just letting her know, I'm so sorry, I haven't keeping an eye out, but he actually did go on leave for a little bit while we were on our stay. So that was doubly unlucky, I would say, but he was very sweet. I do think that my friend may continue to shop with him just remotely. So we'll keep you guys updated on that. So and next up is maybe my favorite purchase of the trip. I'm actually not sure, but it is some purchases from Miu Miu. I do not have a Miu Miu located in San Francisco, so it was really nice to go to the Miu Miu store in Hawaii to try on a lot of things. And also Miu Miu and Prada, because kind of like their sister companies, also do participate in the Hawaii pricing. So I was able to get these for several hundred dollars off of the retail price and so that was very nice but the two things that I got were some ready to wear pieces and I think that they're so cute but do I really think that they're worth the money that I paid for I'm not sure please let me know I'll have some mod shots of all the clothing pieces so please let me know if you think that it was actually worth the money that I paid for because Miu Miu is not a cheap brand, I would have to say. But I thought that all these pieces were so lovely. And I actually don't have too many super nice kind of designer ready to wear pieces. I'm pretty basic with the kind of clothing that I wear. So I do just wear a lot of cheaper clothing brands. I don't like focus a lot on my clothing. I am trying to change that though. And that's why I did end up buying these Miu Miu ready to wear pieces because I would like to just buy fewer pieces of clothing but just higher quality and nicer clothing and I thought that this is a good way to continue my collection of higher quality clothing pieces in my collection. So the first thing, oh, and this is just so beautiful, it is this 100% cashmere cardigan with these beautiful gold button details, this kind of cable knit stitching here as well as the Mimi logo on the back. So I do find that 
half of the Mimu ready to wear pieces are very like Mimu. They have like a huge branding, but a lot of their ready to wear pieces are very, very quiet. Like you would never know that this was kind of like an expensive cardigan. And I personally prefer that. I'm less of a kind of brand name screaming at you kind of person, but this is 100% cashmere and it is so soft. And as soon as I put it on, I was like, oh my God, this, this has to come home with me. It is super, super simple. It's this beautiful kind of cream off-white color ring. The gold buttons just absolutely pop. And then it is nice that it just has this really, really tiny Mimu here. You probably won't ever see it because I do normally have my hair down, but it was so beautiful in store and I just had to have it. So the price on this was $2,030 in Hawaii and on the mainland it is priced at $2,250. So I did save a couple hundred dollars and it is again you have to remember that the Hawaii state tax is much less than the state tax that I pay in San Francisco. So although it is expensive I definitely feel like this piece is so timeless I can definitely wear this forever I'm going to treat it with a lot of care and so I think that the cost per wear of this item will actually be quite little because it is so classic you could definitely wear it with anything wear it for a really long time and I think it is a good investment piece to have in my collection so the next clothing item I actually got were these super simple black shorts they are super stretchy in the waist. They do have this elastic band, but they also do have a zip detail. They have pockets and they are just super, super flowy, high-waisted black pants. So the reason that I got these was just because I've been in a very like chic Parisian kind of mood. I had recently bought a couple pieces from Cezanne, which is a very like Parisian inspired clothing brand. And I absolutely love their pieces. And I felt like this just is so chic, so elegant, and perfect for the fall slash spring slash summertime. It is a piece that, again, I can wear forever. It's not too short, it is high-waisted, gives plenty of coverage, and it is super, super comfortable because it does have the elastic waistband. So you can wear this with a cardigan, you can wear it with a shirt tucked in, you can wear it with a, like a long cotton blouse. It can just be worn in so many different ways and I felt like it was so so versatile and lovely and also my boyfriend thought it was just super cute on me so it definitely improved my opinion about the shorts but again these were also cheaper in Hawaii than the mainland. So in Hawaii the shorts were priced at $1,190 and on the mainland they were priced at $1,320. So again saving a couple hundred dollars, never complaining about that but even together these two pieces looked so, so, so chic and so cute together. And I did try them on at the same time when I did end up purchasing these and they might've just synergized together and made me want to purchase them even more. So both of these pieces I got in a 36 and I think that they fit really, really well and I have no qualms about it. I usually wear an extra small or small and I am 5'7", so the 36 fit absolutely perfectly. I think the 38 would have worked just as well though. Please let me know down in the comments what you guys think. I think they're beautiful pieces, but these are definitely the most expensive pieces of clothing that I've ever purchased in my life. So please let me know down in the comments if you think it's worth that price for, if you think I'm just so crazy to have spent such a large amount of money on just two clothing pieces. I do think that they are my favorite piece of the trip. I think that Miu Miu is such a cute brand. I really resonate with the brand in general. I was happy to have gone into the store to try all these things on and all the sales associates at Miu Miu are just so adorable and so sweet and so nice. After I had made this purchase, they brought out tons of champagne and cookies for us to enjoy and I just had the most absolutely wonderful time. So next up is a ready to wear piece from Dior and you can tell from the packaging that this is actually something for my boyfriend, but I, I really love this one. The other, you know, ready to wear the chrome hearts, whatever, the Stussy, you know, they're a little bit more street wear, not super my style, but when I saw this, I was like, you have to get this. It's so classy, so elegant, and it's still definitely his style. So it was just a wonderful compromise for the both of us in terms of style but it's just wrapped up right here. And you'll definitely see a theme with my boyfriend. He only wears like black clothing, but it is this beautiful Christian Dior Montaigne t-shirt in the relaxed fit sizing. So there's absolutely nothing special to this shirt really. It's just a relaxed fit shirt. It does have the CD embroidery detail right here in the corner. And then there's just nothing on the back. 
it is just a plain black t-shirt and I think that a lot of people might say that this is really expensive for just a plain black t-shirt but it is really heavy and high quality and I think that it is just so sleek with this kind of hidden Christian Dior embroidery detail. Like I said, I don't really like it when there is just like a screaming of a brand name at you. And so I really wanted to get this shirt for my boyfriend actually from like quite a while back, but they usually make it in bright colors. So I think I'd seen it in like a bright green. They even have like a bright blue or like a beigey even this season. So like I said, my boyfriend really only likes dark colors and they hadn't made a dark color in this style for a long time. But as soon as I saw this in the black colorway at the store, I just knew that he had to get it and so I'm super super happy that this season they did decide to produce this in the black colorway and I'm so glad that we were able to get it. So the store actually did not have a size when we went in because he didn't need the extra large but because we went in I think on the first day that we actually got there we just ordered the size that he needed. It came into the store about three days later and we just picked it up. So I would really really recommend that if you are going to Hawaii you kind of like front load your shopping at the beginning in the first one or two days that you're in Hawaii so that you can get all your shopping done and if there's anything that you want to order Order, there's enough time for it to come in before you leave so that's what we did and it worked out perfectly for us we just went in popped in grabbed this and I think it's so 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 wonderful this would make a beautiful gift for any of the men in your life and I cannot highly recommend this shirt more. So this shirt was priced at $750 and unfortunately this shirt does not participate in any special Hawaii pricing so it is $750 whether you get it in Hawaii or you get it in any other state in the United States but I think it's fine. Once again this is a shirt that he can wear forever. We're definitely only going to be dry cleaning this shirt so it's gonna last a really long time and I do think that it's just better to buy higher quality more expensive pieces less frequently than to just buy a bunch of like really cheap pieces of clothing that you'll wear for a year and then toss. So this is definitely one of those keep in your wardrobe forever pieces. I also got one additional thing for myself at Dior and it is in this box here with the beautiful ribbon packaging. But it is another pair of sunglasses so they are in this beautiful black case that just has the christian dior embossed in the front and then inside it's just a magnetic closure it is just a super chic classic pair of black sunglasses so once again when you just turn it to the side it does have that beautiful cd logoing right there putting them on i mean you really can't get any more classic than this kind of black sunglass and I typically enjoy these kind of black sunglasses. I always have had black sunglasses for my entire life. I've never had like a color frame like the Celine sunglasses that I just showed you. So I actually bought these sunglasses first when I first came to Hawaii because like I said, I did need a pair of sunglasses to wear while I was there. But then while I was kind of shopping and doing more shopping and looking at my outfits, I did feel like, you know what, Sonoman, just expand your horizons, get a white colored sunglasses. And so that's kind of why I ended up going with the Celine one. And I do think that everybody needs kind of multiple sunglasses to have so you can keep one in the car when you're driving, keep one in your house, keep one in your bag. It's just easier like that and it will definitely encourage you to wear your sunglasses more and protect your eyes because they are very important. They never get better if they're damaged once. Sorry for the little spiel on protecting your eyes. I did do a lot of like eye research when I was in college so I am very kind of passionate about that. But yes, these are once again so classic turning to the side the cd gold just catches the light and i think it just adds so much to any outfit the dior sunglasses also come with a little cleaning cloth but yeah i thought that these dior sunglasses were just so timeless it goes perfect with my new new shorts i mean even the other ones would go well i really need to branch out from neutrals but neutrals really have a vice grip on my heart right now so i will thoroughly be enjoying this pair of sunglasses as well as the other Celine sunglasses that i have these sunglasses however did participate in the hawaii pricing so i did end up purchasing these for 530 dollars but in the us they were priced at 560 dollars so i did save a couple tens of dollars so that was still nice next up is something from tiffany and i actually got this as kind of like a couple gift so my boyfriend was kind enough to buy this for the two of us he was personally looking at this for himself and he absolutely fell in love with it and then there just happened to be like a matching kind of women's version of it so he was like you know i think it'd be so cute if we got it as a couple matching set and i was like okay yeah i do actually really like this i don't have anything really like this in my collection so i was happy to receive the gift but i will just show mine because he's currently actually wearing his like non-stop 
but it is just a tiny little sterling silver bracelet from the Tiffany Hardware Collection. So this is the micro size because the little hardware links are very, very micro size. He got his in the small size, so they have a bit larger of the link to fit his wrist, but this was so adorable. And I actually don't really have that many sterling silver pieces. I do have multiple items from Tiffany, but they are mainly earrings and necklaces. So at the time when I tried this on, I was actually wearing my Hermes sterling silver chain to ancre ring and I thought that it matched so perfectly with it and I also did recently get a stainless steel watch as well and I think all of those kind of like silver tone pieces are just so radiant and so stunning and I felt like this was a perfect really simple layering piece that I could wear with almost anything and it would just be a great layering piece. I'll include some pictures of me wearing it with my boyfriend's uh, bracelet as well but this actually needs to be slightly adjusted for me. This is actually a little bit too big, but basically what you can do is you can buy these, you know, anywhere and you can get them adjusted at any Tiffany store. So I will just be popping into my local Tiffany store probably this weekend to have a couple of the links removed so that it is a perfect and snug fit. And this kind of bracelet is really wonderful because it will be able to fit any person's wrist like perfectly because any amount of links can be removed. And this bracelet is extra wonderful, I think, because it is so easy to adjust the sizing. So not only can you remove the links to match your wrist perfectly, but also you can buy these in multiple sizes. So not just the link sizes, I'm talking about the length sizes as well. So this was the small size for the length, but you can also buy medium large lengths as well. So it is really, really easy to get the perfect size for you. And because it is so general neutral, it is a perfect kind of couples item to get, or even a gift for anybody, man or woman can wear this bracelet and look so elegant and chic inside of it. So I really love it. My boyfriend has seen multiple men kind of like wearing the Tiffany hardware bracelet. So like, I think my Chanel essay wears it. And even like some of the essays that we were working with was also wearing the same bracelet. And so he thought that it looked really nice on them and he wanted to get one himself. He put it on, he was like, I love it. So we ended up getting them and we did get the couple version as well. So I really, really am happy. It looks really nice and radiant on the skin. So would highly, highly recommend this as a gift for you or anybody else in your life. So there is no special Tiffany pricing in Hawaii. The Microlink bracelet, which is the one that I have and the one that I'm holding was priced at $625. And then my boyfriend got the next link size up. So the small link size, and that was priced at $975. So they are just so adorable, beautiful, and lovely. So almost last purchase are just some really, really quick purchases from Stussy. So Stussy is also another streetwear brand that is super popular, but these ones are much, much more affordable, but we mainly went because they do have a Hawaii exclusive shirt. You can buy Stussy online, so it's super easy to do that, but the exclusive city ones, you do have to go into the store and purchase those. So I got this one for my boyfriend. It is the classic Stussy shirt, but it does have Honolulu down here, and it also has Honolulu here. It came in both the white colorways and it is a really, really large oversized fit, and we both wore these during our trip in Hawaii already. I also got one of these just very, very classic Stussy shirts, but this one does not have the Honolulu marking. I kind of like this one better because it is a less of a jet black dye on the shirt, so it's a little bit lighter than the Honolulu shirt. And also, I did feel like the Honolulu writing kind of reminded me of a scary movie that I watched as a child. <laughs> So it's a little bit silly, but I did want to just get the other one and my boyfriend did like the Honolulu one, so he got that one and they're pretty much matching. So we really enjoyed those and they're really, really comfortable. They're both priced at $45, so they're really non-expensive, affordable shirts and it is a nice just little souvenir from Hawaii because it does say Honolulu on them. Now, the last purchase is something that's been sitting behind me this entire time and you can see that as I did a lot of shopping, there was not enough space in the luggage that we had brought to fit everything, especially because I brought like tons of chocolate covered macadamia nuts back for my family and friends as well. So let me just roll this kind of into frame. Oh gosh, I look so tiny, but this is the Trunk Plus from Ramoa in the aluminum casing. And I really do like the look of Ramoa. I'm not sure if I love the pricing of what you're paying for Ramoa, but my boyfriend really was into the aesthetic of Ramoa and he was saying that 
because Ramoa does offer a lifetime guarantee, this is a suitcase that you'll buy once and you'll use for the rest of your life. And he really loves the kind of like beat up aesthetic look of Ramoa. So this will just be a case that we use for all of our vacations from now on because it is huge. We just want to kind of try to stuff everything into one check-in bag instead of two smaller check-in bags. And then we will continue to add a lot of stickers from our travels. And I think it is a really just beautiful way to remember all the vacations that you take together with your family, friends, significant others, whatever. So we ended up going with the Trunk Plus because it is larger than the regular check bag carry-on. And this is really, really huge. And I specifically like it because you can see how deep it is kind of. So it's a little bit like more narrow in the front, but it's more deep this way in terms of a regular check luggage and i really liked this because it can fit my bags really comfortably into the check luggage without having to kind of fold anything so for example my birkin doesn't fit into any of my checked luggage nor does it definitely not fit into any of my carry-on luggage but this suitcase is deep enough for me to comfortably fit my birkin without any part of it being squished so i do feel like it is nice to have the option of having one of these larger suitcases that has a little bit more depth for certain things that you're traveling with and I don't know, the space really did make sense when we were packing, there was plenty of it, and the organization features of this case also did help in kind of separating things out and organizing things really wonderfully inside. So I absolutely love this case now that we have it. It is so wonderful, so light to travel with. Because of its aluminum casing, it's definitely going to get dented, it's definitely going to get beat up a little bit, but Again, Ramoa does have a wonderful lifetime guarantee. So if you do get dents within the luggage, you can just pay $45 to get all of the dents removed, no matter how many dents you have inside of it. They do protect any of the hardware, so like the handle, the wheels, whatever, they can replace this very easily. And in general, if this gets scratched, it just shows that you're a well-traveled human being. And I love that they also provide these kind of special stickers to put on the bag as well. So we did end up getting the Seoul one because we did go to Seoul last year and then the special Hawaii sticker as well. So these will just go straight onto the luggage and you can continue buying them from every city that you visit with your remote luggage. And I think that is so, so cute and sweet. So this luggage was priced at $2,325. So it is definitely not a cheap luggage, but like my boyfriend was saying, we have already gone through multiple check-in luggages because they break, they crack, and we kind of just like toss them. I think I've probably gone through like three check-in luggages in the past seven-ish years during my travels because I go back and forth to Korea often and they're just like not that gentle with your luggage when they're tossing it on and off the conveyor belt. So because of this aluminum casing as well as the lifetime guarantee. My boyfriend was like, you know, we're gonna buy this once and we're gonna use it forever. We're not gonna have to get another case again. So if you think about it like that, it is an investment. We're not gonna have to buy any more of like the $500 worth luggages anymore. And we'll just be able to use this once and it will be something that will hold all of our travel memories together. And even this, it went through check in Hawaii and it got a little bit dented, but really you can't really tell at all. There were some scratches you could see on the corners here, but actually a lot of the scratches and scuff marks that this aluminum casing takes on, you can actually just very easily buff out. So there were some very like large black streaks that went along these corners and I just buffed it out with a paper towel and they were completely gone. So I do think that this is quite durable. It's quite light because it is made of an aluminum casing. And yeah, I just love it. I do love that it is a little bit of a different shape. So it does provide a different kind of stores than the typical check luggage can provide. But this was my final most expensive purchase from Hawaii, courtesy of my boyfriend. But this basically just housed all of this when we went back, plus 10 boxes of chocolate macadamia nuts. So that is it for my Hawaii shopping vlog. I hope that you enjoyed watching me unbox everything that I bought in Hawaii. And if you have any questions or comments about anything that I showed in the video, just please leave them down below in the comments. We have one thing left to unbox and it is the 1000 subscriber giveaway gift. Again, I will actually be doing the giveaway in a different video, but I will give you a sneak peek of what it is. So you are extra excited for that. It's in this box here. When I give it away, it will come totally wrapped. I am a ribbon wrapping expert, so do not fret that it will like exactly like it came. So this is something that I saw in store and I just thought it was so beautiful and so neutral. And my essay did say that it is a really, really popular style and was almost sold out. So I just had to snatch up one of them for you guys as a gift and thank you for reaching 1000 subscribers on YouTube. But it is just the super classic Louis Vuitton card holder in the Damier Eben print. 
and oh my gosh, isn't it beautiful? So this matches my Alma BB, which is in the Damier Eben style, but this brown again that Louis Vuitton does in their canvas is just so beautiful. Like this just beautiful, warm brown that matches with literally any color and hopefully anybody's taste and style. That's kind of why I picked it out because I honestly don't know who it's going to and I want to make sure that everybody has a chance to absolutely fall in love with this card holder. And the canvas of Louis Vuitton, I think, is just one of the best canvases out there. It is so durable. This in 10 years is going to look brand new versus leather products in 10 years. You know, they're definitely going to show some wear and tear, but I wanted to get something for you guys that is going to be long lasting because I hope that my time on YouTube is going to be long lasting as well with all of your support. So again, thank you all so much for watching my channel and subscribing. It really means the world to me. So this is going to go and be in a giveaway probably in two videos, I want to say. So please subscribe and keep on the lookout because this is going to be in a giveaway very, very, very soon. And you do not want to miss out the opportunity to get this beautiful little card holder from Louis Vuitton. Well, that brings us to a wrap on today's video. Please make sure to subscribe so you do not miss out on the wonderful opportunity to win this card holder. I will be announcing very soon when this giveaway will be available. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I will definitely see you in the next one. Bye.